So this new data center actually uh, gives us space, power, cooling to install uh, the equipment as we need it uh, under the best possible conditions in a very uh, reliable uh, and optimized environment. In the moment the ESRF generates on average every day two terabytes of data which has to be looked at, you know, which means uh, visualized and then processed you know, several times. You know, so every day we are shifting around probably some 10 terabytes of data in and out of our data center. This is a substantial amount of data and this will significantly increase you know, in the years to come. We have uh, since ever you know, here at ESRF have two main customers. You know, the most uh, data intensive science area is uh, our imaging techniques tomography and in particular now with all the paleontology now this is um, uh, of course in a very active area and historically you know, at synchrotrons you have the more in the macromolecular crystallography beam lines who produce an awful amount of data and who require substantial amounts in compute power so one important figure for us was definitely the availability of electrical and cooling power. So the new data center provides a factor of four more of them. So we reach 370 kilowatts of electrical power available in this data center. And the other issue, which is much more invisible, is that we have the possibility to install equipment very fast in an optimum fashion on demand which has not been the case before because we now have in a, in a pre configured network attachments, pre configured power in, a, in, a, in the racks, so everything can go now very fast. And that is something which is important in knowing how dynamic our beam lines in a, develop and generate more data every day. Initially, the new data center was foreseen with the in a building extension we have in a, planned for our upgrade program. Now, this was uh, supposed to be ready in 2013. Unfortunately for us, it was impossible to wait that long because uh, we were really at the limits uh, with our old data center. So uh, we looked at our possibilities, our, our options two years ago, and, uh, and we uh, found that it was possible to do this extension here in our central building, and, uh, provided we did a substantial amount of uh, uh, preparatory works, for instance, like consolidating the slab uh, where the data center is located. And, uh, this uh, has uh, led to the availability of the data center two years in advance in comparison to what was initially planned and with the same uh, budget uh, as it was planned uh, initially. It also leads to something very interesting, which uh, is that we do not have to manage three data centers, but we stay with two. So from an operational point of, uh, point of view, this is much more efficient. We would have had otherwise a network center here, which would have been alone and all the equipment in a different room, something which is not really practical. So we are quite proud of the way it has worked out and very happy that you know, this is now operational and has been inaugurated today. During the construction, which took 18 months in total, including all the preparatory works, there was no downtime of the old equipment, which stayed in this room and had to, you know, to be operated while construction work was going on around it. This was quite a challenge and many of the companies you know, who came in have never seen that. So they were working under very particular circumstances in terms of dust, in terms of uh, uh, safety to make sure that the equipment could run. And one of the more spectacular operations consisted in replacing the false floor completely under running operating equipment. And, uh, so, so again, we were very lucky that there was no interruption at all in the service uh, to the beamlines.